everyone, this is Selena Kraus and welcome to another card video. Today I'm featuring a few new products from the June release from Scrappy Tails Crafts. Mainly I'll be using die cuts and hot foil plates to create today's card. So I'm starting with uh, the Fairy Dust uh, Star Swirl Hot uh, Foil Plate. Also I'll be using the Old English Alphabet. Uh, hot foil and die set and A2 cloud frame cover plate. So let's get started. First we're gonna uh, create the background and I'm using uh, amethyst cardstock, gold foil and gold foil to create our uh, star background. I'm just cutting that foil to size. I'm using a little tool called quick trimmer it's perfect for cutting foil. Okay, I think that looks good. I will add that to my background. And in this video also you will see my creative process, how I start to finish. I did not really plan this um, card ahead of time. So uh, you see what I'm doing as we go along. So I put that um, panel onto my uh, hot foil glimmer plate and while that's heating up I'm just separating those um, letters I was gonna spell magical and also die cut one of the cloud frames using um, gold glitter cardstock so I have my uh, glimmer hot foil machine here I put the plates and I press the button to heat it up now I run it through uh, my data cutting machine and by magic of YouTube, it's already foiled. So you can see how uh, that looks. I will put the machine on the side. Uh, it's really great, it was really getting crowded on my desk in the video area. So I'm just gonna keep that aside. Also, I will die cut some of the stars from that um, A2 um, cloud frame uh, cover plate from some gold holographic cardstock. But while before I uh, do that, I will use the letters from the old English alphabet and I'm using white cardstock. This is specialty cardstock for glimmer foil. And again, I'm using that same gold um, foil to um, hot foil dose. I, I spelled magical, so we have two A's, so I will go one more time, second time uh, for the A, because I needed a second A. As you can see here, I'm securing those so uh, they don't move while they're on the hot uh, glimmer plate. Okay, I think that's good. I'm putting it now um, on the side on that hot glimmer uh, machine and uh, I'm die cutting in meantime a moon and stars from gold holographic cardstock. So I moved those from the plate and already run uh, the plate through my die cutting machine. I'm going to remove the foil and uh, the plates and you can see they're very nicely foiled. I'm going to trim that down because I will run, I'll, uh, use that leftover piece of cardstock for that extra A we need for to spell magical. I just taped it again, put it back on the hot foil machine. In the meantime, uh, I'm die cutting more cloud frames to, uh, in order to stack them up. I moved that plate from the hot foil machine. So, and I continue cutting those. I cut three of the frames. And we're gonna, once we start assembling the card, we're gonna stack those up. Also, I die cut a bunch of uh, moons. Okay, now let's, uh, we have coordinating dies for all this uh, English, the lower case English alphabet. So, I'm using those to die cut the letters. Again, I'm securing uh, the dies with some um, highlighter tape. It's clear uh, repositionable tape. It's perfect for die cutting. 
uh, making sure that the tape doesn't go over that hot foil area because it may pull up some of the foil. Okay, we have die cut all of them besides that second A. So I have the card now in a portrait lens, uh, portrait, and but since magical is kind of longer word, I will turn that around. So by magic of YouTube, I also die cut three of each of the letters just for backing to create more dimension. So I'm just arranging everything now to see um, how everything will um, come together. And then from the fairy sentiments, I'll use a sentiment that says you are. So we'll have your magical. So now let's start assembling the card. I'm starting by stacking uh, the frames. So we have two white, uh, three white frames and one from the glitter gold cardstock. So when you turn the frame 180 degrees, uh, you'll notice there is some, um, it creates a double kind of cloudy background. So in a little bit, I uh, decided to add another piece on the back to add a little bit more dimension. You will see that in a second. Okay, I'm adding a heavy acrylic block on tops to make that uh, to, for that to dry flat. So here we go. I die cut another frame from um, gold holographic cardstock, the same cardstock I use for the stars and the moon. And I'm adhering it in the back here, but I'm turning it for 180 degrees so they're not lining up. So you can see how um, extra dimension that adds. Okay, now we're gonna stack the moon and uh, the letters. I'm adding three pieces of white cardstock and then on top I'm putting the gold holographic cardstock for the moon. I'm not layering the stars. So we'll do the same with the letter. So we're gonna have one letter that's hot foiled and three uh, that are not that will be uh, stacked together in the back to create dimension. So there are two, I decided to add one more. I'm just separating them here. So it's easier to find the ones that I need when I adhere all those layers together. Okay, so I'm gonna add a third layer on the M. I'm gonna move to the A and repeat the process. Actually, that's a G. I'm gonna repeat the process for each letter to spell magical. And I'm also putting each letter uh, under acrylic block to make sure that it dries flat. So we're doing the last one here. Okay, we have all the letters, we have that frame. Let's start assembling now. So I'm using again the same liquid adhesive to adhere the frame onto my hot foiled background. And again, putting it under that acrylic block. So while those are drying, uh, I decided to stamp my sentiment. As I said, I'm using the fairy um, sentiment and I'm just stamping you are. I'll stamp with versa marking and emboss with um, gold glitter embossing powder. So that kind of matches our background with the glitter cardstock and uh, the gold stars. Okay, I trimmed that by magic of YouTube. I'm just trimming it to size, to a little strip. Okay, now let's start uh, adhering everything together. I'm just making sure that that sentiment is centered there, all the letters. Um, gonna adhere the moon. I think it's good there. Now I'll do the same type of stacking of that UR sentiment as I did for the letters, the moon and the frame. I'm just adding uh, little strips of white cardstock on the back to create dimension. You can also use uh, foam tape if you like 
but um, the stacking of cardstock gives more sturdiness uh, to the card. So I'm, now that I have all the letters positioned, I'm just adding uh, adhesive on the back and adhering them to my panel. So we have the L left. Now I'll add some of those uh, star, die cut stars that I die cut previously from gold holographic cardstock. Okay, now we're gonna adhere that sentiment, you are. Okay, we're almost done here. I think that looks good. Then one more star here, right above uh, you are. And now to finish off the card, I decided to add some gold pearls or gold bubbles. to add more sparkle to my background. Okay, I think that's uh, pretty good. So now we just need to adhere this one to our card base. I decided to add another layer of that amethyst card stuck on the back to make it more sturdy. Since the frame, uh, the cloud frame is pretty sturdy, so and we just had one layer of that purple card stock. And then I just adhere it to a top folding white note card and let it dry. So here's cl close look up. You can see all the shine and all the sparkle that uh, the foil and the card stock create. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that um, subscribe button so uh, you don't miss any future videos. Also, please visit my blog for more ideas and more inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye!